Hey, it's Opinionated Glenn, and I'm back the 25th day of September, the day you're going to always remember, or the month, or whatever. I'm trying to forget it. I'm trying to get over it. 2011. Well, a little while ago, I come back from Kroger's. I had to go up there and get a few odds and ends, you know, bananas, milk, stuff to get us through the week. And uh, I'm at the checkout, and right almost in front of me, a Boy Scout father and his son, both in uniform, had a little card table up there selling popcorn. Well, I didn't know what they were selling at the time. I listened to the assholes. One woman says, no, we've already bought ours. We've already got them. We got them last week. Well, the guy smiles. I say the man. Well, he was younger than me, you know, quite a bit. And he had a young kid. He knows the woman's full of shit. He just got there today. But she bought hers last week. That soothes her conscience. This is what I call a fay, you know. Her husband is what I would call a Tom. Both liars. Both pieces of human garbage that don't know the truth. Well, anyways, then another guy comes up. Oh, I already got mine. I got mine last week, too. Yeah, okay. <laughs> he just got there today. But it soothed his mind. So Tom goes by. So then I get up there after checking out. Yeah, what do you got here? Cause I was in Boy Scouts. I was in Cub Scouts. I played the game. We sold many item in our day that was a little bit more uh, easy on the pocketbook, light in the wallet. It wasn't so ridiculous it is today. Well, he says we have uh, caramel corn here. This is ten dollars. Ten dollar bag of caramel corn. It wasn't even as big as a sandwich bag. I I'm not exaggerating. A paper sandwich bag. Ten dollars. And it wasn't even half full. Then they had a little, a little bit bigger of a bag of cheddar corn. Cheddar cheese, whatever they call it. Popcorn. Ten dollars. I said, wait, is this popped? Oh yeah, it's popped. Now you would expect to maybe pay 39 cents for that bag of cheese corn. And they'd still be making a hell of a profit. And maybe 49 cents for the caramel corn. And that would be a lot. They're charging $10 for each of them. Well, I had my money out, but I think, man, <laughs> you know, I like to get kissed when I get screwed. This is ridiculous. He goes, well, we also have a jar here for donations. So I said, that's a little bit better. So I put $2 in the donation jar. Well, I didn't make up some phony excuse. I just wasn't going to pay some ridiculous price for some real cheap product. You know, I, I like to get something, even though it's for the Cub Scouts and Boy Scouts. Or the guy says, oh, but we get $7. $7? The guy that's getting $3 for making this is still making a $2.50 profit for every bag. I know. It's for the Boy Scouts. It's for the Cub Scouts. I understand that. But they got to quit gouging. That's worse than the Girl Scouts. 350 a box and the Girl Scouts get 50 cents. 350 for a box of about 12 cookies with more spacer, twice as much spacer as there are cookies in there. Well, what, what are these people thinking? Why don't they get somebody that's really gung-ho, a company that could work in the Girl Scout and Cub Scout product with their other product and not charge them at all. Make it 100% profit. Instead of gouging the public. Oh my God. You know, instead of giving everybody a chance to buy something they might afford for the Boy Scouts, they're going to try and screw that one person who's got a little bit too much money. When you're going to pay $10 for a 39, 59 cent bag of, pro 49 cent bag of popcorn, as the brothers say, you be out your mind. Okay, well, I don't know where this is going, but I had to talk about it. I had to get it off my chest. So, uh, 2150, good buddy. I'll take this one myself, too. 10-4, and good day.